This is my celestial mechanical calendar. It has the day of the week. Here it shows Friday. It has the phases of the moon. We just had a full moon a couple of days ago, so you've got to come way around back to see the dark side of the moon. It shows the day of the month. Today's the 21st, and this is going to advance from the 20th there up to the 21st when we operate the calendar. It is June, 21st of June, so this uh, equinox and solstice window has an indicator in the center of it that will show that it's exactly the solstice. Here we are, it shows that it's June, and we're just leaving Gemini going into Cancer on the Zodiac. This part shows the synodic rotation of the three closest planets, this being Mercury, Venus, and Mars. This part shows when they go into retrograde. This is the length of time that Mars is in retrograde. Here's for Venus, and you can see that Mercury is just coming out of retrograde at this point. When this comes around, lines up with that line, it's in retrograde. So this one's just, just leaving retrograde. This part of the calendar is the end of month advance. So it, it knows by a cam uh, if the month has 28 days, 30 days, or 31 days, and it advances it appropriately. This part up here is the mechanism that moves the entire clock, the entire calendar. When it is loosed here, the entire mechanism will move to the right and then back to the left again, advancing the calendar one day. The first thing we see is that the day of the week changes and the moon phase ball begins to rotate. We're coming over here, picking up the 21st day of the month. As it moves on its way back, the solstice will go dead center into that window. And then it will lock into place, ready for the next day. Today is July 1st, 2008. The celestial mechanical calendar is still set for yesterday, Monday, the 30th of June. And it shows that we have passed the solstice. The solstice is no longer showing up in the window and that Mercury is still on its way out of retrograde. It'll be out on July 4th. The moon phase ball shows that we're going into a new moon shortly. And when I throw the levers, this arm tells the calendar that there are only 30 days in June and advances the day wheel past the 31st to pick up the 1st of July. That's done by a cam that's behind the month zodiac wheel. First thing we see is that it'll move from Monday to Tuesday, and at the same time, this arm is coming over and picking up that pin, pushing it forward a day. The arm below comes over to the first. Advancing it to Tuesday, the 1st of July, 2008. 